Can you tell me a little bit about how things have been going through the pandemic? We, we just want to take care of each other. Yeah, it's kind of bonded like a community. I mean, we really are a community. We're all healthy. And because the manor takes us to a different level. From day one, everybody uh, from residents, leadership and staff really stepped up to the plate immediately. We were all in the same boat trying to take care of this situation. It's a little city of a thousand. They've been very adaptable in a, in a difficult to be adaptable situation. There's, there's um, a, a kind of a reinvigoration, I think, to, to trust in, uh, in those that are making important decisions. The staff shows up, smile on the face, and, and uh, we'll get it done. Early on, I met with resident leadership, and I asked them a couple of questions with respect to our response. And clearly what they shared with me, and something I agreed with 100%, was that we were, number one, going to be, we were going to keep our residents safe, and we were going to be conservative in terms of our approach and our reaction to what steps we were going to take. The dedication, I think, and the discipline that had to be put into practice when we really did have the shutdown. Um, and I think Bob said it, and I will say it again and again, this was the best place to be in in the last three months. Had you been living in your prior home through this time, how would things have been different for you? I think we're better off here because there is social contact with people and we don't have to risk a lot. We don't have to go to the grocery store as often. <laughs> There's a lot of things that we don't have to do that we would have had to do if we were still in our house by ourselves. We're very happy here. In fact, we almost feel guilty because, because we feel that so many people are really suffering. This has got to be one of the safest places in America to be right now. It really is. So we feel lucky, blessed. Yeah.